Amber Rose, I am so excited to be sitting down with you. Me too, babe. And I have never been to a slut walk in all the three years. Shut your mouth. So, you know, I saw the first year you said something like 5,000 people. Second year, I think No, the doubled. first year was 2,500. Oh, 2,500, okay. Well, that's 2,500 people with zero sponsors. Nobody wanted me on their radio show. Right. Nobody wanted to do any press for me. Like, no, like, I literally asked all my rich friends for money. <laughs> and I was like, guys, I know you think this is crazy, but I need your money. Mm -hmm. So What's trust <laughs> me that I will work hard to make sure that this is amazing. Um, and Nicki Minaj gave me a lot of money. Shout out to Nicki. Nick Cannon gave me a lot of money. Um, uh, Neo. I mean, it was just so many, like, just random people I just had in my phone mm -hmm. that, you know. Did you, I, like, do a generic text, like, hey, boo? You got I that. called You them. did the real, that's the, oh, that's the Diddy mentality. Yes. I'm going to get on the phone and do this person Diddy to person. Diddy taught me vibe. well. Yes. Diddy and Russell. <laughs> okay. Like, I really look up to them as mentors. And Russell was actually the one, way before I even thought about Slut Walk, was like, you don't need a manager. Manage yourself. Mm. And I said, Oh my God, I can really manage <laughs> yeah. myself. And I started managing myself. Okay. And, you know, 2,500 people showed up, which was a success for me because I just had my social media. Mm -hmm. Like, that's, that's it. Um, and so they showed up. The next year, 11,000 people showed so up. So that was like triple, damn near quadruple. Yeah. Jeez. Um, that's because I went on all the rooftops and just... I didn't stop. Mm -hmm. I talked about Slut Walk constantly. I took a lot of punches for Slut Walk. Um, I dealt with a lot of scrutiny and ridicule for Slut Walk. But I believed in it. And, you know, um, I just, I like, I know it sounds corny, but, like, you know, if you believe it, you can achieve it. You can it. achieve it. Have you dated anyone in the past that kind of wasn't really with the vibe of the message that you set forth at all? We're not taught as a society to be feminist, right? Exactly. We're taught that that boys will be boys mm -hmm. and girls need to dress like this and carry themselves this way because they're not classy and you don't want to be slutty and, yep. you know, you have to, you know, you can't sleep with too many guys. If you kiss that boy that week, you can't do it this week with another guy. That's what society taught us our whole lives. I like to change people's minds. I like to educate. Yes. That's my thing. Yes, most, probably most of my boyfriends. Yeah. Actually, all of my boyfriends. Have always been like, bro, what are you doing? Um, always been unaware. Okay. And yeah. I had to make them aware. How do you really go about educating them? I wait for something to come up. Okay. And then I politely correct them, mm -hmm. um, but not in a way like, you know, like a mother. Like a and then they call up. me mother. Yeah. But I'm like, talk to you for a minute, you babe. You don't quick. like what you said earlier was like really slut shaming and body shaming. Um, so I just want to explain to you what that means and what I do and what I'm passionate about, um, and how that really hurts my feelings. That you know, you're somebody that I love, and I just. You know, I just want to educate you and let you know that, like, that's kind of wrong. Exactly. And that's exactly what I'm fighting against. And right. that's exactly what you just said. For sure. You know, I wasn't always a feminist. Mm -hmm. um, I was a slut shamer as well. Okay. I feel and, like we've all done a little bit of that. Yeah, for sure. And, I, and I'll, I'll never deny it because um, I grew and I, I, you know, I have a higher level of thinking now. And that's what life's about, right? Growing and, and learning. Exactly. You know, I look back at those times and I kind of cringe where I'm you know, where I used to call women hoes and sluts just because I was uncomfortable with the fact that I felt like they were more beautiful than me or, you know, a guy like them and a guy didn't like me. You know, I'm like, oh, but she's a whore. Like, she sleeps with everyone. Like, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I had to down her without even knowing her sexual history. Yep. I just wanted to say because I didn't want him to like her, mm -hmm. you know? I put that out there because that's, you know, embracing your imperfections and what you've done in your life also helps bring awareness. Finding real love, has it has it made you more comfortable in just the whole, like, I can still put out this message and someone's going to love me for me? Like, has that helped you with, with everything? Yeah, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I mean? Like, someone's like, going to love me for me. Exactly. No, right? you're going to love me. Yeah. Like, or we're not going to be together. Yeah, you're going to love me and you're going to know what I do and you're going to you're gonna understand it or you're going to open up to try to understand it. You know what I mean? And you're going to support me because mm -hmm. I'm going to support you. You know, especially like, you know, being with 21, his lyrics are like... Interesting. <laughs> you know? Yeah. 
But <laughs> it's entertainment. Mm -hmm. One, it's entertainment. Two, it's not that um, he hasn't lived it. Maybe he's not living it right now with right. me. But I'm sure he has lived a lot that he raps about. How did that whole thing come about, really, you guys, you two? <laughs> Do you want to tell them the story? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> let's talk about it. So me and Amber, obviously, we're friends, yes. me, right? So I've been at your house. We were, like, hanging out. And you've ne you never mentioned this at all whatsoever. Mm -hmm. We'll, like, be eating pizza, watching movies and stuff. No talk of it. So we go to this DJ Khaled event. Uh -huh. And 21 is there. And I... <laughs> And I turn to you, I'm like, how old is he? And and you knew the age immediately to which I was like, so random. Why does Amber <laughs> know the age of 21 Savage? And you told me, and I was like, mm, old enough. <laughs> like, as if I was going to go talk to him. And then you guys go off for a cigarette break. I'm like, oh, they must be friends. Didn't even realize. Cool. Mm -hmm. And then the next day, I see you guys, like, on the blogs holding hands. And I'm like, oh, my God. Okay, you did not say, you did not say uh, how old. You was like... I'm gonna get that one right there. That one right there. I said, oh, go ahead, girl. Go ahead. You were so <laughs> casual about it. And when I found out the next day, I was like, oh my God. And I, I, I think I called you or I texted you. I was like, bruh, no harm, please. I didn't know. No, I was like <laughs> laughing the whole time because I'm like, oh my God, she's so nuts. But I didn't wanna say, I didn't wanna say anything that night. Yeah. Because I was just like, we didn't wanna put it out there yet. We really wanted to have like strong feelings for each other before we, you know, just put it out. Yeah. And then the next day, it was just like, he was like, baby, I want to take you out to dinner. Like, let's just go out. Let's just do this. Fuck and it. like, let the paparazzi see and... Well, that's the thing. Like, being famous in LA, like, you can't just go on a date. Yeah. Because you're going to get caught. No matter where you go. So, uh, you know, for a while, he was at my house, I was at his house, and we were just always in the house, like, mm -hmm. being, like, each other's little secret. And, like, you know, we we realized that we were really in love with each other. We wanted to be together and we just didn't care anymore. Do you ever regret going public quicker than you were prepared for? With, like, or do you ever feel like you went public quicker than you were prepared no. for with anyone? No. Well, because I'm an open book. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so for me and my fan base, I can't encourage women to um, be exactly who they are if I'm being like a fake and a phony, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I will say, and this is not to discredit anyone that I've, that I've ever dated, but you know, you date people and then you love, love people. Yeah. Like you, you see a future and you're just like, wow. So there's guys that I've dated and nice guys, but I never really seen like a future, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And like with 21, it's, it's different. It's like, yeah we're around each other's kids. We're like a family unit. Like, it's just like we talk about the future and we like, you know, we have like those discussions with each other and it's it's beautiful. And you you have that and then you have like, I went on some days. Yeah, you know, we I talked to this to, dude for a couple club. months. Yeah. It was cute. Do you feel like social media has ever hurt any of those situations. I feel like social is so interesting because it helps us in the sense that, you know, now we could be more free, we could post what we want, we can ch we can change the world, honestly, with, mm -hmm. with the help of a platform like that. But at the same time, it's giving these trolls and these like people that otherwise would not have the balls to yeah. be as disrespectful in real life, it's giving them a platform to be bullies, to hurt more, to get into your personal life more. So do you feel like that's ever affected anything you've ever done? Well, I'll just speak for like me and 21. Like we equally don't give a <laughs> And that's so, how you're supposed to be. <laughs> it makes it easy for us, you know, because yeah. when they're like, oh my God, you're nine years older and you know, this and that. I'm like, I dated someone that was much older than me and mm -hmm. no one said anything. The so because I'm so a crazy. woman yes. and I have a younger boyfriend, um, it's just like blasphemy, you know? Has Bash played with 21? Does 21 have a daughter or a, a son? He has three kids. Oh, gee, what? Yeah. I didn't get this memo he's, at all. He's very private with his children. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. But yes, he has three children. He has um, his son and my son are born the same year, oh. same month. They're 19 oh, days apart. Wow. So they're basically brothers from another mother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So then. Um, and then, yeah, and then he has, he has a daughter and another son. Okay. So. So they're all like, it's, it's like a little Brady Bunch. Yeah. Okay. So I, I was thinking that, I was like, if I have a baby, we're going to have five kids. Jesus. It's like a, it's not like a line, a starting something for one of those teams in sports basketball, 
right? Don't they Is have it? five? I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know sports at all. Sports, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I they like... have like five and like the starting lineup. Maybe. That's a thing, I think, right? I don't know. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so you, you have like a little squad, though. Yeah, so if I, if I, yeah, if we have a baby together, we'll have five children all together. All right, before we go, I want to ask you, in a, in a perfect world, what change do you want to say that you're like directly responsible for? If, if you could bring forth a real change, really do something like, and it'll permanently be different, like what is, what is that change that you want to see? I would say this year, my ultimate goal is to get slut um, and promiscuous out of the dictionary. That would be amazing. So I'm gonna go to Webster Dictionary and I'm gonna shout it out from the rooftops like I did with Slut Walk. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna get on every interview and I'm gonna tell Webster Dictionary that they need to take slut out of the dictionary. I just really want equality. I want people to stop slut shaming. I want people to stop victim blaming. People fail to realize that sexism and racism has been going on since the beginning of time. And racism is constantly thrown in our face being Americans in general. Especially um, now in these times, girl. These times, yeah. I mean, you know, it's been, it's been going on for a very, very long mm -hmm. time. Um, but no one talks about sexism. Right. And that's why I'm here.